I've been blind since birth. I looked at colleges where I would be the only blind student there and I just felt kind of like I would be singled out. But every day I pass people in wheelchairs, I pass people on crutches. I think it just felt more like I could picture myself here. I have people in my classes who may have you know, learning disabilities, but I've never had anyone on campus be mean to me because of my disability. I'm taking an astronomy class right now and sometimes the professor will have equations up on the board but she'll be talking about something else so I'll take notes about what she's talking about and the in-class aide would write down the equations. Um, the professors actually at the school are very helpful and very accommodating. Well, I'm I'm the same. Thinking that it went this way. Oh no, it's, it's this way. The flow of the water is going to be like across this way. Yeah. The only service I really use regularly is their in-class and out-of-class aides. No, those are the environments. The environments, yep. Um, in-class aides basically, for me, read the board to me. Professors have PowerPoints, they'll read those to me. I think that's one of the main things that a lot of students with disabilities forget is you need to advocate for yourself because even if the Center for Students with Disabilities is there, they're there to help you but no one can help you unless you help yourself and tell people what you need. Because in the end, it's gonna be your grades that are affected. I do use audiobooks. Um, I have my computer read me books you know, for school, but when I'm reading for pleasure, I really like to just read the Braille, um, and Braille's a combination of dots that are used to make letters and words that are raised. I try to do things myself as much as I can. If you just be yourself and present yourself as who you are, then you know, you'll eventually realize where you belong and where you fit in. If you open your eyes and just look around, you'll be surprised who you meet.